What's going on guys, this is SGH Sports and welcome back to a brand new episode of my career mode. We are in the Premier League and we are wheeling and dealing like pff, there's no tomorrow. We are getting players in, we are getting offers from McCormack which we keep rejecting. Uh, so yeah, start of the last episode we was well, we was trying, we got Max Clayton, Oviedo, two good players. We inquired about uh, a few other players and uh, John Flanagan were putting a bid in, Jack Hobbs were putting a bid in and you can see on the screen that these have been accepted. Before we get into this video guys, if you want some cheap and reliable little team coins, make sure you check out utcoinbank.com, links and stuff will be in the description below as always. So, John Flanagan has offer has been accepted, we are going to give him a wage of 25k and he is going to be an important first team player not a bad sign, he's just signed a new deal with Liverpool as well. And Jack Hobbs for £3 million. I think I may have overpaid for him, but you know what? I need to get my player in. And we're going to up it to eight to give him an extra year. And we're going to give him an important first team player role. Because I don't think Zaka Lucas can hack it in the Premier League. I'm not entirely sure if Jack Hobbs can. So it's a bit of a risky deal is this. But we, we'll see how we get on. And we have received another offer for Ross McCormack for £5 million from Olympic Lyon. Now that's not a bad offer to be fair. I think that's one of the better offers that I've had um, But he's not going he's not going for anything less than 10 million pounds without a doubt He's he's the key to our survival in this uh, in this season So then to give you an update Flanagan has accepted our contract offer and we are going to accept that that's a great signing um, Is that I feel he's a good player in real life a steady player He does play in the first team at Liverpool as well. He features quite a lot so that's uh, in real life. I think that's that's, that's you must have something there uh, for the player. So we've got him in. He's young. He's energetic. He's going to be passionate, and he is the one that is wanting to play for us. So we've signed John Flanagan. So with things are starting to come to shape now. We just need a few more players in. I feel um, so. I'll go on the hunt for some more players, guys, and I will let you know as soon as I find the right players. So as you see then, Jack Hobbs has accepted our contract offer. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. Not a bad signing. Uh, Right then, we're looking at a Norwich City player this time, it's Daniel Ayala. Uh, I take a risk with Jack Hobbs, he's only rated 69, so he wasn't as good as what I thought he was on the game. He, he looks uh, absolutely fantastic, um, so I don't know, and I'm a bit sceptical now to put in bids willy-nilly of, of £2 million and stuff for players, but it's okay, we need the, the stability there. So we've just submitted an offer for Daniel Ayala. I've also inquired about Ravel Morrison, and yeah, they want £14 because West Ham went down, so I thought, oh, do you know... Might be able to get him on a bit of a bargain deal. Unfortunately, I was so wrong. And we've inquired about Connor Wickham as well. They want 3.5 million. I'm holding the thought of that at the moment because he's a great player, but can I fit him in my squad? He would rotate between Lafondra and McCormack. Uh, and, and obviously, I've got Max Clayton in there. So I don't want to have too many strikers and upsetting uh, the likes of McCormack and Lafondra, who have done so well for the club. So then our Daniel Ayala offer has been accepted and we're going to offer him a four year deal with 15 grand a week and we'll put uh, as an important first team player there. And just, I just don't feel that Zaka Lucas is up for it. Transfer offer time and it's for Ross McCormack. Ooh, it's for Ross McCormack again. I'm going to negotiate this for 10 million pounds. Uh, see what they come back with and say, excuse me, I was uh, burping then. But yeah, 10 million, stuck guard and he's all yours, pal. What I've also done is I've put in a cheeky offer as well for Ravel Morrison. Um, I think it's for half that, for £7 million, just to see what they say and how they come back. And who knows? You never know whether they might accept it. I probably doubt it, like, but it's worth it. Schalke have come back and said that the price tag we set for McCormack isn't um, worthy of what he's worth. And we've the Ravel Morrison, we're putting £7 million offer for him. It's been dropped. I've adjusted the wage budget just for this player. I'm going to toy with West Ham ever so slightly because he's a cracking player. If we get him in early doors, he can improve so good. And that's what I'm after. And here we go. We've received another offer for Ross McCormack. You're not getting him 15, whoops, 10 million and you can have him. So we'll knock that down to 10. 10 million and anyone comes in for 10 million, then he's going. I'm, I don't care what anybody says. 10 million is uh, a reasonable amount for Ross McCormack, I believe. But I do want to keep him. I do really want to keep him. Right, guys, we're back with a 
Daniel Isle has accepted our contract, so we're going to accept his offer. He's coming into the club now. We are starting to build a quite a young side. He's been a successful sign. We've, we've got a transfer offer for Matt Smith. Birmingham City want him for 375k. He can go because we've got Max Clayton um, on the ranks, and he's not really going to feature much for me in the Premier League. Let's face it, he isn't a cracking player after all. He's not. He's okay in the Championship, but for Premier League standards, it's a no-go. Right, so then West Ham are not budging at 10.5 million. We offered 8.5 last time. We will offer 9.5 and see how see what the think of is. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm going I'm going to have to do it. We've off Ross McCormack. We've renewed the asking price, Ross McCormack, but unfortunately they're not willing to spend um, at this moment. We have submitted a new offer. Uh, it's for six million pounds. Goodbye. Reject. Thank you very much. I am not interested in selling him for for 3.6. I'm rejecting all offers and disallowing future offers as well for that. That is just ridiculous, is that? That's just... Pff. Three point whatever it was. No, thank you. Get gone. Right then, we've received some bad news. Uh, John Falangan has pulled his groin and be out for seven days. When I saw the seven and I didn't see the days, I panicked and I thought it was going to be seven weeks or seven months. But luckily for us, he's okay. West Ham have said they are, it is... I want this player, but they've said that they want ten point... We want £10 million for him. We will go and offer £10 million. He's valued at 14 so we're doing some um, some serious uh, transfer negotiations with West Ham to try and get Ravel Morrison in. And the board is hopeful of a successful season. We look forward to seeing your leadership and determination get the best out of the players. We will mostly judge you on success in the league. Um, and we have decided that your league objective for the campaign is to avoid relegation. I should be able to do that. Uh, if this object can also be met via a cup competition, then succeeding through that medium, but failing your league objective may not be enough to safe to satisfy their criteria. So the, the border, you know, they want us to stay up, which is fair enough, which I want to stay up. We, we're building to stay up. It may take us a good two or three games before we actually gel as a team, but things are looking promising for us. Well, guys, we're going to have to buy the bullet and go for £10.5 million for Ravel Morrison. His position is calm. We're going to have to submit this offer. I, just, I can't be arsed messing about now with them. £10 million we've come in for. They said the £10 million was too low. £10.5 million we've laid out. If they don't accept this time, then I will go in for someone else, possibly like Jack Rodwell or possibly even Ross Barkley. But 10.5 million is a reasonable amount of money saved on a player that's valued 14 million pounds. Right then, we've received an offer for Steve Morrison from Bolton Wanderers for 800. Uh, I'm going to accept that because, do you know what? I don't rate him. So he's going for 850k. That'll do us nicely. It'll give us a little bit more budget to our allocation, and then maybe we can pursue and go in for someone like Connor Wickham or someone like that. So we'll just see how things plan out. Finally, finally, West Ham have accepted the bid. He won't even f I'm going to give him a five-year deal and, and up that up to 40 grand a week. Uh, it's going to be an important first-team player. So there we go. We've signed on the dotted line. It's now in the hands of Ravel Morrison. And we have sold Steve Morrison to Bolton Wanderers. Uh, the board has allocated 725k to our current transfer budget. That's very kind of your board. Very kind of you indeed. We have finally got our man. He has accepted terms. We're going to confirm that. We've signed on the dotted line. We are near the season as well, so it's important we've got him. In. We have got him in. Uh, first game of the season is against Man City. So that's this episode coming to an end, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to see how we do against Man City in the first game of the new season. Our first game back in the Premier League from so many years out of the Premier League. We've got Man City first. Please like, sub, comment, and I will catch you all on my next video. And goodbye, guys.